Right then, ladies and gents, welcome. Welcome to the channel. We're here to talk uh, about Disney. Now, this is important because, of course, Disney is one of the, if not the largest company in the film industry. And Disney revenues have currently dropped by over $600 million in the second quarter. Obviously, we do know why these things have happened, but this will still have ramifications that will be felt across the industry. So it is important to dive into, and I always find this to be interesting. And also, generally, it's been quite fascinating because no matter how many reports we get of them getting great Disney Plus uh, subscriptions and that doing very, very well, I think currently they're now slated to have over 100 million uh, subscribers, which is which is actually really, really great. These things are still unavoidable. You know, they're a public company. They have to report on these things. And $600 million in the second quarter is quite a lot. And I do think that these will be th these will be things that will be felt across the board. Uh, take HBO Max, uh, Disney's largest competitor currently, you know, owned by AT&T, a equally massive company. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how the industry reacts to this, if they react. So let's dive into this today. This article is linked down below. Second of all, uh, linked in the description box as well, is I have a second channel. It's a car channel, and I know not everyone's into cars, but I am. I'm a big car guy, and I'm currently rebuilding a pretty special rally car on that channel. So if you want to check it out and you want to support me over on another channel, then please do check it out. It's linked down below. I'd love to have you over there. We have a great community here and it would be nice to have uh, some crossover. But anyway, let's dive into this. So the Walt Disney Company recently released their second quarter earnings for fiscal year of 2021 and they revealed that their revenue has dropped by over $600 million compared to the first quarter, which is uh, quite a big drop uh, from quarter to quarter. Now the Disney CEO Bob Chapek prefaced the report by saying, we're pleased to see more encouraging signs of recovery across our business, and we remain focused on ramping up our operations whilst also fueling long-term growth for the company. Now, that long-term growth is more than likely going to be Disney+. Plus. That's, that, that is what they've been slated to be focusing on for some time, actually. Uh, it, it's a big focus for them, which I do find surprising because long-term the revenues are not as big um, as what you would imagine you're going to be getting from you know, a blockbuster uh, movie. Now, we would add that this is clearly reflected in the reopening of our theme parks and resorts, increased production at our studios, the continued success of our streaming services, and the expansion of our unrivaled portfolio of multi-year sports rights deals for ESPN and ESPN+. And one of the biggest issues that Disney has faced has been their resorts being closed. They have lost just monumental um, money from those resorts being closed. And that obviously has an impact on everything else that they do because it's still part and parcel of the same company. Obviously, you know, in terms of how they've structured the business and things like that, they could probably minimize the impact on other sections or areas of the business. But it is still part of it. And the ginormous sums of cash that they've just basically been bleeding and rupturing, hemorrhaging, uh, will of course have impacts on everything else that they do. But they are starting to open back up now. Uh, and as a result of that, yeah, I mean, they, they are going to see some signs of recovery there. Now, at the end of the first quarter, Disney reported that they earned revenue totaling 16.25, which is rounded up, billion with 12.66 billion coming from Disney Media and Entertainment Distribution, and 3.5 billion coming from Disney Parks experiences and products. So a massive slump from the Disney Parks. Huge, in fact, absolutely massive. However, their recently released second quarter numbers detailed that their total revenue for the quarter dropped to 15.6 billion, and the Disney Media and Entertainment Distribution segment had revenue of at 12.4 billion uh, and the Disney Parks Experience products brought in 3.1 billion. So you can sort of see they've been losing money across the board um, and, it, and it's interesting. I would have thought currently that the Disney Parks and Experience uh, product side of the business would have made a massive jump 
But then also what you have to take into account here, just being objective, is that they are now, obviously, they have the operation costs again. Um, they had the operation costs anyway. Those parks cost them money just sitting there, but they now have, you know, actual daily operational costs. And if not everyone's going back, then, yeah, they're going to start to lose money again. Now, this, of course, means that Disney's revenues decreased by 636 million in the second quarter. Not only did they decline 636 million uh, from the first quarter to the second quarter, but they declined over 2.4 billion from the second quarter of 2020. Now, Disney posted second quarter revenue of 2020 at 18 billion dollars, which I would have thought they'd have lost a lot more from the first uh, the first year of a lockdown. Um, well, it, from the first year into the second year. Um, I would have thought that the first year would have impacted them a lot and then they would have been able to stabilize the business. Um, but it's interesting. It's interesting how this is all panning out, really. Now, while Disney's revenues overall declined 636 million between the first and second quarter of 2021, they did see gains in the direct consumer segment, i.e. Disney Plus. And you can see that's why they're focusing on it. But I still think um, I still think they're never going to reach the types of money that you're going to get from a blockbuster. You just you physically can't. Not unless everyone in the world has a Disney Plus subscription, which you're never going to do. Uh, piracy is too rampant. You don't have to be on Disney Plus to watch Disney Plus programs at the end of the day. Now, in the first quarter, they posted revenue of 3.5 billion in the direct to consumer segment, in the and in the second quarter, that increased to 3.9 billion. That means their direct to consumer segment saw an increase of 495 million dollars. So pretty good. Like we can't take that away from them. That is actually good. Now, specifically for Disney Plus, they reported that subscribers increased to 103.6 million at the end of the second quarter. That's an increase of 8.7 million subscribers from the end of the first quarter, where they posted that they had 94.9 million subscribers. Now, we don't have to believe those numbers. They are not independently verified, uh, although I would be, I guess, happy to believe it. I don't see why they would lie about that specifically, because... Disney Plus subscribers, it doesn't, really doesn't mean that much, to be fair. It's not going to make them that much money. Not in the way that their films segments do. Uh, and I think that's basically what they're waiting for. Their films need to start up again. Now, Motley Fool's James Brumley would claim that the growth marks the slowest pace of quarterly editions since the streaming service launched in the final quarter of 2019. Brumley would also note that 103.6 million subscribers number is well below expectations, which were 109 million subscribers. I wouldn't say it's well below. I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to be well below, but they're still not actually going to be happy with that. Why? Because they have a large portion of those subscribers with a Disney Plus subscription roped into their cell phone plan for like a dollar. Not all of these 103.6 million subscribers are paying the top whack. So they're not actually, they're not getting everything from it. And this is what people need to keep into account when we say those figures, because they're just not, they aren't what they are. Now, while they did increase numbers, albeit at a slower rate, uh, they would also have a decrease in the average monthly revenue per paid subscriber. In the first quarter, the average monthly revenue uh, paid you know, for Disney Plus subscribers was only $4.03, and it declined to $3.99 in the second quarter. However, this, this decline came after Disney increased the monthly price for Disney Plus from $6.99 to $7.99 in March. So again, it comes down to those Disney Plus subscriptions that are roped into trial fees, uh, massively discounted rates, etc. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, I mean, that, again, that that's why. Now, overall, Disney reported that its net income for the first quarter was $901 million. That's up from the first quarter uh, when it was only $17 million. Um, sorry, for the quarter, so the second quarter. So it is up, like, a lot. Now, the increase comes from reduced costs, which declined to 14.1 billion from 15.9 billion uh, so not great like that's it's not like they're making money they're just reducing the costs so they're not bringing anything more in they're just spending less following their second quarter results disney stock has currently declined almost four percent as of rising it now currently sits at um 171 dollars 80 cents per share so quite a quite a loss there to be honest for disney but what do you guys think of this you know, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of their focus on Disney Plus? To me, it is one of those things that on top of the industry of movies could be a good earner for them, but it cannot, cannot replace movies. It just physically can't. I've, I've long said this, streaming is not the future in that regard. Because if you all sit in one room with a Disney Plus subscription, 
I mean, they're making infinitely less money than they would uh, from a movie when you have to take the whole family to watch a movie. So I don't know. I hand it on over to you, though. What do you guys think? Please do let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Check that you are subscribed and turn the bell notifications on because YouTube is messing stuff up at the moment. And they are like they're removing likes and stuff like this. They're, they are really putting a, putting the hammer down on a lot of people. So please do check that out. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care.